Hello everyone. Today I have a follow-up video for one of my most popular tutorials, the Unity Controller Controlled GUI tutorial. And with that tutorial, people were running into uh, a bug that I was running into myself that I never got around to fixing, but I'm going to be fixing it in this video today. So the bug I'm referring to is when you have your your menu all set up and ready to go, this is the, the same files from before. As you can see, it's the completed version. We can go down, we can click on all of them. But as soon as we start up the menu, and as soon as we click with the mouse, the menu breaks. And there's no way to fix it at this stage unless you have to restart the game. And this is a major problem if you have a full release game and you have a player who plays pretty close to the computer accidentally bumps their my the mouse or say they alt tab and they click back on the game. You just don't want to have a problem like this. And anything that makes it your only solution to fix is to leave the game and come back is not a good solution. So I have found a way to fix this and it's pretty simple. So in our scripts folder just open up the GUI manager script that we have on our event system right now to uh, holding our play button function. So I'm just going to open this and now we have this open it's not an insane amount of lines but you do need to add some things to it so the first thing we need to do is using unity engine dot event systems the reason we want this is because it's going to allow us to actually use the event systems objects in our code which is one of the main things we need to do for this. Then we're going to need two variables. I'm going to use a public variable to get my event system. I'm just going to call it ES. And then a private game object. And this is going to be my stored selected object. And we want to set our stored selected object to equal our event system dot first selected game object. So on start, our stored selected is going to be equal to the first selected game object that we put in Unity on our event system. So when we look here, it's going to be equal to button, which is our play button. And now that we have that, we want to go into our update, we want to do an if. If our, our ES dot first selected game, no, not first selected, current selected game object does not equal our stored selected game object. So with that line, we're checking to see if the current object that is selected on the event system is not equal to our stored object. So at the beginning, our stored object is going to be the play button. And we're checking to see if the current selected is anything other than the play button when it first starts. So if it is different, then we want to do another check to see if ES.CurrentSelectedGameObject is equal to null. Now, this check right here is going to fix the whole mouse button. So when you click off of the menu or click on your game with the mouse, it sets your current selected object to null. And null does not have a navigation path in your menu. So with that, it breaks everything because it can't get back to your menu and it has no way of changing 
but right here we're seeing if it's equal to null if it is then we're setting our current selected game object to be our stored selected game object oh uh, we can't do that because it's read only what we need to do is we have to use the function set current set selected game object and then we put the story selected in there so this is just a, uh, a function that basically does the same thing with the line I typed beforehand um, just we can't do the line I did beforehand because this variable is read only so you can't overwrite it but using this function lets you overwrite the current selected object so we just gotta do one more check to see if it's if it is different so right here if the current selected is different from our store our store selected we go into here and then if our current selected is equal to null we do this so the only other option we have is that the current selected object is different from the stored selected object but is not equal to null so because of that we can just use an else and we just go stored selected is equal to our es dot current selected object and with that we can build it now and since it's built let's just try it out Oops, I forgot to set everything up. So we just need to drag in our event system. And the way you can get your event system is any way you want. You can put a tag and tag it your event system and on start, find your event system, set it in. Or if you are like me and put your manager scripts on your event systems, you can literally just get the component and store it using like get component event systems. Either way, it doesn't matter how you get it, just that you get it. All right. So let's play it now. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Unity has been acting up for me quite a bit lately. I'm going to try to, after this video, uninstall and reinstall it. Uh, hopefully that fixes any problems I had. But as I was saying, when we start up this scene now, our menu still works fine, still responsive. But when we click with the mouse, instead of breaking, it now just flickers a little bit. Uh, the flicker is because it's being quickly set to null when you click, but then quickly set back to a stored vi variable once it realizes that it's null. But, other than that, the menu works perfectly now. When we push play, it works fine. Now that is a solution to how to fix the any problems a mouse may cause your controller GUI menus in Unity. I hope this video helped you a lot. If you have any questions or if you would like to suggest a topic for my next video, leave a comment down below. Thank you and have a great day.